WLWT News 5, leading the way. We are staying on top of reaction to the collapse of Bill's safety, Damar Hamlin, during last night's Bengals game. That's right. We are joined now by former Bengals wide receiver Mike Martin. Of course, played seven seasons with Cincinnati and was in the stands this year when the Miami Dolphins quarterback suffered a concussion at Paycor. And we should also mention, and the big reason that we asked you to be here today, Mike, you know the pain of medical emergency, sadly, firsthand as a coach, mm -hmm. as a player, but also as a father. So talk to us about what happened to your son, Marcus. Well, with Marcus, um, he actually died in D.C. And it was one of those situations where he wasn't feeling well. Out of the blue, he called me, Pop, I'm, I think I'm gonna go to the hospital. I, you know, just tired, really tired. We said, well, go ahead, go to the hospital, let them check you out. And uh, that night, I said, hey, what they're gonna, I think they're gonna wind up keeping you, what the doctor said. My brother said, they're not really doing much, I'm gonna take them home. Mm. I said, no, let them stay, just let them stay. I said, hey, I call him dude all the time. Hey, dude, mm -hmm. call, call me in the morning. All right, Pop, love you, love you too. Next call I got, they were telling me he was gone. And he suffered um, a clot that was a, that, that then stopped his heart, yes, correct? It was a blood a, clot. Uh, pulmonary embolism, a uh, clot that started in his leg. It went up to his lungs and it just stopped his heart, mm -hmm. stopped only, his blood from getting to his heart. Only 25 years old. Yeah. And Damar Hamlin, just 24 years old. Yes. His mother there at the game as a parent who has gone through this and as a former player who has had family and friends in the stands during a, a very dangerous game. What do you want to say to his family right now, Damar Hamlin's family, and what kind of emotions might they be going through? Oh man, I'm, uh, when, when when I heard about it and I saw the severity of it, mm. the first thing I thought about when they said his, his mom was in the stands, I said, oh wow, her baby is down there and they're trying to keep him from dying. Right. They're trying to pump, pump air into his system to keep him alive. I can't, I, it's like you, something you would never wanna wish on anyone, but for her to be there and go through that with her baby, with her baby boy, it was traumatic. So the thing that I'm, I'm want them to know is that um, one thing that I found out is that it's in God's hands. Mm -hmm. Let God deal with it. You know, because at this point, um, everyone's praying, everyone's doing the best that they can, but they have to sit back and make sure that uh, he's going to be okay. Forget about football. Mm -hmm. Forget about football for him. You know, I heard somebody say, well, I know he wish he can come back and play. Man, forget about that. This dude is fighting for his life right now. So that's what should be the focus. You have been a coach. You've been a player. You've seen oh. <laughs> firsthand really yeah. awful collisions. Yeah. Did this one feel different last night? No. And that's the, that's the strange thing about it. It looked like a, you know, a good physical hit where T. Higgins actually initiated the contact uh, he just held on and for, for that to do something to him it makes me think what else was involved what, is there some type of underlying situation with him because that wasn't a that wasn't a hit that I would think would you know knock someone out like that and you were there for two at Tagovailoa's hit, also at Paycor Stadium. Yes. We saw the thumbs up. A lot of people saying that NFL players saying they've never seen a, an ambulance on field. Did that send some shock waves to your body, or what were you thinking? You know, what sent shock waves to my body was watching the reaction of the players, mm -hmm. because you, you typically you may see a few players get a little emotional, but these guys were actually bawling. Mm -hmm. And I think they were because they witnessed what was going on on the field. They saw the uh, defibrillator. They saw the fact that he was trembling. You don't see that yeah. in games. When a guy can't give you the thumbs up, and then they said he wasn't breathing. Mm -hmm. When they heard that, football went, to another, it went in another direction. Yeah. Mike Martin, we have met many times when we're covering the Bengals. 
lastly out uh, in California. And yes. so immediately when I heard of this last night, I thought of you because I remember being out in California, you talking to me about Marcus, your son, how much you still miss him to this day. Yes. Uh, I'm so sorry to you and everyone out there who's had to suffer a loss like this. And I think that's what you, know, you wanna keep in mind while this is getting national attention, people die from cardiac arrest every single day. Yes, and the, the other thing is that I tell people all the time, when I, I, I do a lot of social media, I do everything, man, hug your loved ones. Mm. Hug your loved ones. Tell them you love them. Tomorrow may not happen. And if you miss that opportunity, man, it's a terrible thing. And that is what we saw yesterday uh, in a video, Mark, uh, DeMar, Mar DeMar Hamlin hugging his mother right before the game. Uh, thanks so much for being here with us My today. pleasure. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. And right. we will, of course, continue to lead the way with the latest on Hamlin's condition, both on air and online at WLWT.com. Remember, you can always find the latest on our free WLWT mobile app. Now let's do the weather thing. Allison Rogers standing by with more.